Hi kids, more at home training. Today's video is another different one. We're gonna be putting weight through our arms and building up our arm strength. This is vital for Jiu Jitsu, especially if you're staying on top because you've got to post out. And that's what we're gonna call them. We're gonna work on our posting arms to make sure that we can stay on top. So picture that you're on mount, someone bridges you want to be able to post out. Yeah, if someone, you're on side control holding someone and they go a big bridge, you can post your arm out. Or you're passing someone's guard and you can post out to keep your balance to keep working on your pass. So we're working on our posting arms, our arm strength. We're gonna build up to things that are a little bit more difficult. The first few are quite easy and I'm sure you can all deal with them. And you can work at this and slowly get that strength so when you're back on the mat, you're actually stronger than when you stop training because you haven't been able to get to the mats because of this isolation and we'll have to stay at home. So, first thing is going on all fours, okay? So I'll just turn on the side here. You got your hands on the mat. Make sure you put your hands on the mat. Nice big handprint. Don't just have your hands all fingers apart. All right? Here, putting the weight through your arms and your knees. Also, look at my toes. Turn your toes down. See how my toes are pointing down? You never, or very rarely you want the top of your feet on the mat when you're doing Jiu Jitsu. You want to make it a habit to always be able to have your toes down because it's quicker to stand up and it's quicker to, uh, stronger to push. It's not often you want to be like this. So turn your toes down. Now what we're going to do is just straighten our legs and stick our hips up. So now I'm putting weight through my arms and down. Hips up. And down. See this? Up. And down. Up. And down. Up. So you can feel your body getting a little warmer, feeling the weight through your arms. That's good. So there's a start. Now, put your hands in the same position. Lift your hips up and then lift one leg up. So now I'm putting more weight through my arms as I'm leaning forward. And the job now is to pull my feet apart as far as I can. And switch. Foot up. High as you can. And switch. Foot up. High as you can. Switch. Now you can do this as many times as you like. Foot up. Nice and high. Nice and high. And switch. Getting used to pushing that weight through your hands. So now we're going to actually take our whole body weight through our hands with a jump. A jump lunge. So your hands are up like this. Your hips are up like they were before. And you're going to bring your foot, one foot, right next to your hand. See here? So now you're going to lift and do a small little jump. And switch legs. See that? So now there's that whole one half a second where you've got all the way through your arms. You're getting used to having strong, stable arms. Boom. 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 Yeah. Keep going. So you're feeling that shoulders waking up now. Couple more. So there's the lunge. So now you've actually, for a half a second, you put the whole weight through your hands. Next, we're gonna, you've got two options here. You can start the easy option, which I'm sure you can all do, is on all fours and just touch your shoulder and down. Touch your shoulder and down. Touch your shoulder and down. I'm sure most of you will be able to do that quite easily. So now, we're gonna try and do it with our knees up. We wanna do this control. You don't wanna make it fast, you wanna make it control. So we're here, hold strong, touch your shoulder, and down. 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 And touch the shoulder, 
and down. So you can do these all of these many times. We have one more, the switch drill, right? So we're going to be here. Then I'm going to switch my foot through to my hand here. See that? So now I'm facing up. So it's like maybe someone's back swept you and you've come up and you've got to come back. Then I'm going to switch. I'm going to go spinning around. So watch. Here. See how I'm doing circles? This is going to be a little bit challenging for you guys. But you're getting stronger in the shoulders, stronger in the hips. Guess what? Now we're going to go the other way around. Woo! Switch. 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 So there's a few uh, exercises to make you stable and strong in the arms. You can do this every day. You can do this and combine it with the other things. You know when we use the gi, we're putting our feet in the gi, the exercise video, there's so much now you can do at home, you can get a real workout in. Man, I can really feel that in my shoulders. If you do this uh, often, every day, you wait, you'll be stronger when you get back on the mat to when we finished up. Enjoy guys, get your training in today and I'll see you all soon.